Hi everyone, so in the coming set of videos we will talk about the, the fundamentals of the React components. We already seen how JSX works. Now we will see two major things which is state of a component and the props of a component. If you understand these two concepts in React, either it is a functional component, class based component, everything is pretty much clear because the whole React moves around these two things. If you talk about Redux, any other libraries, they deal with, they, they deal with the state to manage the state for the complex project. But for that, we need to understand what is state. Okay. So this was the project we were running and this is how it looked like. We were able to print the names. We are getting the props data from the parent component. We are getting it and we are passing the, the names to the child component, right? This is what was happening. It's pretty much simple. And here we were using props. We were not using state. But we can also be accessing state. So like in the state, I have initialized the names like hello and hello one. And how can I access the state? Simple, like same as the props, I can pass this dot state dot state dot names. Okay. Instead of accessing it from the parent component, I'm not getting it. You can just simply say, okay, it's, I will be having my own state. This is app.js and from this state I am passing as a so this is the state and I'm passing this state as a props to the child component right here I can't read property map of undefined let's see this is the names this dot state dot names is an array in the child component if you see this dot props dot names we should be able to access now it is coming up maybe as a refresh issue okay hello and hello and right so state is something which is mutable that can be changed and now the state data you you will be clicking on something you will be adding some new more elements like i'm writing on click like uh, whenever you are actually clicking on to the header i'm writing on click method and this on click method is actually accessing the state this dot add new right first of all i need to bind this to uh, this object and there are many ways to do it we will take a look on to this because in es6 class whenever we write dom events they don't have access to this object so we have to explicitly bind them to this object okay now in the state what we can do is uh, we already have a state object right so this dot set state is actually a method which will help you to update the state okay in the initially state we have a hello one and hello two right now what we are doing is this dot state dot names dot push simple like new name i'm just pushing the hard coded value and in the set state I will be just updating the names to the new value. I'm not using any extraordinary features here, but these can be run in the optimized way using callbacks. This can be done in the better way. Bind can be done in the better way, but this is a beginner course, right? I have to first talk about how we are doing it. So this is the DOM event. We have to bind it to this object because DOM events in ES6 classes doesn't have access to this context, this object. So explicitly I'm doing bind so that in the add new I will be able to access this object. I'm doing the this dot state dot name push and then I'm updating the state. Okay. So whenever you click somewhere in the header, you can see the new names are getting added. A lot of new names. This is what I was talking. So here I'm doing a new state, right? I'm updating the state and whenever the state is getting updated, I'm able to see the data updated on the UI. How? what magic is happening so whenever the state is getting changed whenever this dot set state is being called it is actually calling this render function okay if you see the signature of this dot set state so it is actually updating the state and there is a callback so what you are doing is okay update the state here and you also have a callback where you can decide okay the state has been updated so now let's do something This is the callback to be done. You'll use this. Okay. 
this is how it works so now we are able to see that whenever the state is getting changed render method is getting called and in the render method we have a child so we will be passing the new set of fresh list of names every time when the render function is getting triggered right and when the render function is triggering you are getting the new names new set of names and child component will be rendering them inside an array simple correct now to understand these two concepts props and state how they behave we have to move back to our slides okay so till now we just talked about the basic component react dot create class is something which we use in the es5 now we are talking about state and props okay react dot create element is the method we have seen when we are compiling gsx to es5 okay so when you talk about hello world component this is es6 class welcome extend react dot component in the render function you can write your gsx right if you talk about the functional component functional component can be written simply like this const hello and you are returning some gsx this is you can say gsx or any of your html syntax we earlier used to write this es5 syntax of writing component okay react it is using react dot create class uh, function now we are not using it it as we are writing es6 only to write the component but if you wanted to know like this is how we do it there is a render function and you keep adding the functions here in my previous playlist i covered a lot of things in the, with the es5 okay uh, now like adding some props this is the react dot create class es5 way of doing it what jsx is being converted to we have already seen in the babel that this jsx will be converted to something like this react dot create element dev attribute and the children it has a two children's h1 and paragraph tag you can see there is h1 uh, currently there is nothing i mean there is just a text but if you see any other example then you will be having all the children's and that children's will be rendering here so react dot create element takes tag name attributes and the children inside it okay this is the actual compilation and you are writing the code in es5 so only the JSX need to be compiled to ES5, right? So Babel will be doing only minimal task to compile this JSX into ES5. We are not writing ES6, so we don't need a ES6 to ES5. We are already writing it in ES5. Only the thing is, this JSX is not understandable for our compiler, right? So Babel will just compile this and will give you the code. Okay, we have already seen how Babel works. We already played enough how the, the tags, JSX tags are getting converted into the JavaScript. That is what the Babel is doing when it is compiling or building the code. Okay, now these are the two important things we are going to talk about. First is a state and another is a props. Okay, so state and props, everything moves around it. State is something which can be passed or it, the state owns, component owns its state. And whenever the state is getting changed, the component has need to have a responsibility to show the updated data to the user so it calls the render function because the render function is having that responsibility of rendering jsx so if i wanted to show change to the user i will call the render function again okay so in one liner props are something which we are passing from parent to child to grandchild to any component which is immutable cannot be changed the whole objective of the props is just to pass the data from one component to another component that's it state is something which is mutable can be changed and whenever the state is getting changed the render function will get called and user will be able to see the changes and that re-rendering process is happening 60 frame per second so you don't even know that is happening it's like flicker okay this is how the state and props exist in different components state is independent you can have the state in each and every component you have like 10 components they have their own state props is something which we are just keep passing i was passing the names from the app index.js to the app.js to the child.js right so props is something which i keep passing from parent to child state is something which is component will own itself or component will receive it from somewhere whatever the reason okay state if state is getting change it will reload you see this circle which is saying that okay i got a new state i will be reloading the component and whenever you are reloading a component it will render the child component also 
okay components can either be passed as a data so that is a props okay and component have their own state and they manage it over the time the changes they are whenever the change is happening in the state they are re-rendering themselves and when we say re-rendering means if consider this example if this hello component is re-rendering this app component is re-rendering it is having this child as a ch children component right child component of this similarly you will keep adding the multiple child components so what will happen is with the change in the state when you clicking on to the add new button it is updating the state and re-rendering it and when you say re-rendering means it is re-rendering all the children component with it this component has a three child component same component instance three times but all are getting rendered and new fresh data is being passed through the names and they are accessing it using the props okay so this is the basic difference and what is a props what is a state state we are initializing in the constructor or using this dot state or using hooks we will see in the future props is something which we are passing from the component here you can see i am passing the props in a single paddy in form of name image description key i'm passing all these as an attribute so props you will see you are passing something as an attribute that is a props for the child component right here is the parent component pat list and single pat so in the pat list you are iterating on some data and you are rendering single pat and passing these properties key name image description and how you are accessing them using this dot props dot name this dot props dot image this dot props dot description right so you know the difference between props and state now state is something which component has it whenever the state is getting changed component will re-render props is just for data passing and it is mostly will happen when you wanted to send some data to the child component you have a YouTube item list. If you have YouTube list as a parent, YouTube item list, YouTube list item will be a child. You will be passing a single YouTube video information. Similarly, pet list is a stateful component having state. Pet, single pet is just a functional component or you can say doing nothing. It is just receiving data and it is printing it. So we are just rendering it and passing the just information to show on the UI. That's it. Okay. It is not having state. So this is what props is, okay? So what is state and props? Props is are read only, state can be changed, okay? Props are can't be modified, they are immutable. You can pass new props from the parent component, no issues, but the past props you can't change. State is something which can be modified using this dot set state. Either child will modify the parent state or parent itself will modify the, its own state. There are many ways to modify the state. For now, we are talking about the local component. So we are using this dot set state to update the component state. Okay. This is just a simple how React component works. We are passing the props. Props is being passed to the downstream component. Okay. State is something which component is owning it. And whenever the state is getting changed, all their components, all the child components will follow the re-rendering process. They will re-render, they will recalculate what they need to render based on maybe new data will be passed from the parent component so they are receiving new data so they will iterate on it process on it and they will show that obviously they can't change that so this props whatever i'm passing same props if i'm sending to the child they can't they can't change it they will just use it to show some data on the ui okay so this is all important aspects and this diagram is very important how the state and props behaves okay so for coming set of videos, we will just deal with what is state, what is props, how to write it in the components.